105 pounds, a Muay Thai striker. And Santos, 21 years of age, 104 pounds. And as we said, a well-rounded MMA striker. Let's send it to the in-ring announcer for our introductions. <laughs> the start of our second bout here in future FC3 between Adriani and Santos. The referee giving them directions at the center of the ring. And we are underway in this atom weight bout between Monique Adriani and Vanessa Santos. Adriani taking the center of the ring. Both ladies looking for just, and you can see how fast, how, just how fast Adriani is. Good leg kick. Already putting her kickboxing skills on the table. Oh, nice left there from Adriani. Oh, she's hard. And st big strikes from Adriani, a big right hand sending Santos to the floor. Ooh, Adriani's got to be careful. Santos looking for an arm bar here. And that could be deep. And Adriani pulls it out. Ooh, now crazy. caught in a triangle. Adriani looks to have his her hand in a bit, trying to sit back, posture up. Uh, look for the for the left arm of Adriani. She's trying to choke in her, but he needs to she needs to to close better the legs. To have a better lock. Adriani stomping the face of Santos, trying to relieve pressure here. In a bad position is Adriani, but doing the right thing, keeping her weight back and taking the pressure off of the choke. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think uh, Adriani was maybe. Uh, she rushed a little once she, she got the knockdown, but now she's doing a pretty well defensive jiu-jitsu right here. Ooh. Adriani back into a bad position here. Now Santos looking to straighten the arm out for a straight arm bar, but she does not have the, th the, the thumb turned the correct way. She needs to turn her thumb up in order to get that arm bar attempt to work. I think she missed the opportunity with the arm. Now trying to look for a leg maybe, but I don't think it'll work. Now if she's not careful, she's gonna end up, she's, she's given up the back here, but a, in an awkward position for Adriani. Doesn't look like she knows exactly what to do. And you see Santos maybe going for an ankle lock here. Yeah, I think from that position, it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, now maybe it's a little better. I think Adriani should care more or less, like uh, get out of there and go go back to striking because it's uh, the easier way to get a victory here. I think it's easier said than done in this position. That leg trapped up underneath Santos. And we've been in this awkward north-south position for both ladies for 
a couple minutes now. It doesn't look like either of them really knows how to get out of this position safely. I think Adriani would do well for herself to try and stand up from this position, maybe roll out. Yeah, for sure. Because it's the kind of, of mount position where you don't have to best, the best angle to strike your opponent. So I think she to try to stand up and uh, bring the good kickboxing again. But now with side control, I think it's a more comfortable position here. Nice groundwork here from Adriani to end up in the closed guard here, or sorry, half guard of Santos. She's also, she's all, she's also aiming for the, that arm, the left arm. Santos looks as, as if she is fine to just sit here in this modified half guard and strike. Dropping elbows down on Santos, trapping the arm now, yeah. possibly looking for an Americana. Uh, again for the arm. She, she's fighting pretty smart here on the ground, holding that arm so she can strike. And if she, and if Vanessa trying to protect, then she, she tries an Americana. Pretty intelligent ground job by, by Adriani here. Heavy ground and pound here from Adriani. She's got that left arm trapped making it difficult for Santos to protect herself. 10 seconds left here in the round. Adriani is doing everything she can to finish this fight. Yeah. Saved by the bell. Great first round here by these ladies, both showing excellent ground skills. Adriani was getting the def was definitely getting the better of Santos on the feet, but once we went down to the ground, it was, it was pretty even with both ladies pulling off some excellent ground game. Uh, Santos looking for submissions and Adriani able to execute some ground and pound there at the end of the round. Yeah, Adriana, she, she's a really talent. She has a lot of talent with kickboxing. She got the early knockdown, had a, bit, had a little bit of trouble in the, in the beginning there on the ground, but then she started to, to hold better the position, find a better way to strike her opponent. Vanessa, I think she missed some opportunities back there. I think uh, maybe open up for the when she was with the with the triangle choke lock she could try to to sweep the position she did it and then she suffered back there in the the final seconds I think uh, I, I don't think it would be insane if one of the judges for a 10 8 for, for Adriana in this one because of the the ground upon in the last few seconds yeah it appears that the, uh, the the first two minutes of the fight she was definitely getting the better of uh, Santos on the feet and ended up getting the better of her in the end of the round with the ground and pound. I, I could definitely see a 10-8, uh, definitely a 10-9 round, round there yeah, for a 10 nine round, but Adriani. arguably a 10-8. Possibly, yes. So here we are, the second round has begun in this atom weight bout between Monique Adriani and Vanessa Santos. It'll be pretty interesting to, to see how Vanessa handles the second round because she put a lot of effort in that triangle choke in the first. We need to, to check on that cardio right now. Nice body kick there by Adriani. And you can see Santos's lack of experience here on the feet. She's Her striking is not as crisp as Adriani. Yeah, a lot and you're of seeing it here, Adriani just being patient and kind of picking her apart from the outside. A lot of defensive problems from Santos, too. Nice right hand from Adriani. Santos winging a wild right hand. And Adriani keeping beautiful distance. Santos shoots for a single, doesn't get it. Now she's going to give up her back to Adriani. Adriani wisely stands up. Good sprawl by Adriani there. Big right hand by Adriani. And even in a, a really good position there, having Santos's back, you can see that Adriani just feels much more comfortable striking, lets her get up. Yeah, Santos is really struggling with the defensive striking. Uh, she should try to take this fight to the ground, but Maybe with, uh, but maybe different, you know. Try to clinch first, 
because uh, Adriani is also uh, showed herself as a uh, dangerous with the the ground and pound. Now we see Adriani stalking Santos here. Nice, nice left hand by Santos, but she eats a right in return. Big body shot from Adriani, and she is pouring it on to Santos yeah, here. Problem. Santos is having some trouble. Adriani with two big right hands, yeah. big right uppercut. Yeah, he's Santos is not defending herself. And the referee calls a stop to this fight here in the second round. Monique Adriani shuts it down with strikes here in the second round. And you can see that Vanessa Santos just had no answer for the striking of Monique Adriani. Amazing performance by Monique Adriani. We, we, it's definitely a name that you should, uh, that you should mark on your books. Uh, she's definitely going to be on, on, on future again. What an amazing performance, amazing striking from Monique. The medical staff here at Future FC are taking a look at Vanessa Santos to make sure that she is all right and a beautiful display of sportsmanship. Monique Adriani going over and giving Santos a hug. Adriani getting a well-deserved round of applause from the crowd here in Indiatuba, Sao Paulo, Brazil. And we see here in the striking of Adriani, crisp, clean, and Santos had no answer for Adriani striking. Amazing how Monique can, she, she can strike, she can do a lot of combos in a really high speed. You Let's know. go to our in-ring announcer for the announcement of the winner of this fight, Monique Adriani. E vamos ao resultado oficial do segundo combate da noite. O árbitro Anderson Ulisses interrompeu o combate aos 2 minutos 26 segundos do segundo round, declarando vencedora por local técnico Monique. And there you go, your winner, Monique Adriani, with the knockout here in the second round. Let's go over to our Portuguese announcer. I'm here with Monique. We have, a, after the, the great first round, where you had a knockdown, you also so, almost suffered an arm lock, and then you had the ground point at the end. You got an amazing volume of strikes. Did you saw that coming? Thanks God, thanks my family, my team, my friends. It was not planned what happened on the ground. I heard that whole scramble position, but I knew she had a bigger potential on the ground. So I had to be careful and listen to my corners so I, I couldn't make any mistakes. What can you expect from Monica on our next bout? Hey Future, I need to talk to Georgia. Jorge, Lucas, Lucas gave me this opportunity, thank you. You need to open the atom weight. Because we have a lot of tough girls. We are ready for having a show for everybody. Atom weight is coming and your guys are losing because they're not, you didn't open the division yet. I'm really happy. I'm with so much love. I don't fight with opponents. The the face of they're just shows. I have no. It's just for you. I'm just fighting against my opponent. Nothing against her outside of the the cage.